guys learning with rich here so we are now on the last part of planning the mechanical systems so, so far we already have learned how to prepare the spaces placing spaces in an open area uh, multiple level space and then we also learn how to place zones working with analytical model and analyzing heating and cooling loads and then last video we have learned how to create a zone color scheme so in this video last part of the mechanical systems planning is we are going to learn how to create an airflow schedule okay so in this exercise we're going to create a schedule for the supply air system project so instead of placing this schedule on sheets as a construction document so you use it as a design tool to determine whether the correct amount of airflow is being uh, supplied to each rooms in the model so you then use the schedule to adjust the air terminal airflow properties to more closely meet design requirements okay so let's do this one so this will gonna be a very quick uh, video so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to define the schedule so right now we are on level 2 zoning okay so what I'm gonna do is let me just change this one let me go to spaces uh, floor plan I'm gonna open uh, level 1 space fill okay this is the one okay so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to create a schedule so to create a schedule from the project browser so you can see the schedules here this one schedules quantities all so if you want to create a new schedule is you just need to right click that and then just select new schedule quantities or aside from that you can also go to the view since the schedule is a view so you just go to the view tab and then just look for the schedules there on the create panel you can see schedules okay just click schedule quantities just click that one so you'll be able to create now or you'll be able to start to create now your schedule so on our schedule since we are going to create an airflow schedule so I'm gonna look for letter S spaces so I click the spaces here and then for the name here so I'm gonna put here uh, space airflow schedule okay so the building comp schedule building components and then the base here is new construction so I'll just select your okay now on the schedule property so we are going to specify the uh, parameters or the fields that we want to be on our schedule okay so we are going to okay so select available fields from the spaces so we're going to add the level I want to add the level here and then I want to add the number just double click so that you'll be able to add it here to the right side so this will gonna be the fields that will gonna be appearing on your schedule so level number what else name I want to add the name uh, okay calculated supply airflow what else actual supply airflow actual supply airflow and what else <clears throat> the selected fields by the way are added to our scheduled fields here every time you double click so if ever you change your mind you want to remove a certain uh, field here so you just double click that and then it will now become uh, be returned on the available fields uh, options here okay just double click again that one okay and then if you want to uh, arrange the order of your scheduled fields so you can use the tools here so let's say for example for the calculated supply airflow you want that to be uh, here instead of actual supply airflow so you just click that up button there you go so you can change the field here order up and down so you can use this to move the parameter up and down okay now uh, let's define the airflow delta formula so how to do that so what I'm gonna do is let's look for the uh, calculated how about this one add calculated parameter so let's click this one this icon here so it will open now your 
calculated value. So what I'm going to do is on the name here, I'm going to put airflow, airflow delta. Okay, and then we'll be using a formula here. Now, so this is for the HVAC discipline. So I select HVAC and then the type is airflow. Now we need to put the, the formula here. So the formula, I'm just going to click the ellipsis button here. Okay. And there you go. So select the fields to be added uh, to the formula. So I'm going to select the calculated supply airflow. And then I'll select OK. Right? And then for the formula, so I'm going to enter the minus sign. Okay, so minus. And then I'm going to click again the ellipsis button. Okay. And then I'm going to select here the actual supply airflow. So I'll select that one to the formula and then I'll select here OK. So there you go. So there's now our uh, formula here. So it's going to be the calculated supply airflow minus the actual supply airflow. Okay, so I'm now going to select OK. And there you go. So it's now added here. So we just created now our calculated parameter. Now the next thing that we are going to do is, by the way, in our scheduled properties, the calculated value named airflow delta displays under our scheduled fields here. And it will display as a column in our schedule later on after we finish creating or defining our schedule. Okay. Now, let's specify additional scheduled properties. So, this is field. So, let's go to the sorting and grouping tab. So, let's select that one. And then I want to sort it by level the schedule so I select level and then uh, what else for the fields okay uh, sort level what else select okay so ascending I'm gonna use the ascending here and blank line so I want to have a blank line and then by number so level blank line and then sort it by number as well. Okay, and then on the formatting tab, for the fields here, I want to hide the field uh, level. So I select the level here, and then I want to hide that hidden field. Okay. And then after that, what else? On the fields for the airflow delta here, so I'm going to select this one, and then I'm going to select here conditional format. So you are going to format the airflow delta field to display as red when the difference between the calculated and actual airflow is outside an acceptable range. So to do that, I'm going to select the conditional format. Okay, and then in our dialog box, okay, this one for test. So I'm going to select here uh, not between. So I select not between. And then the value here will going to be, uh, let's say, minus uh, 25 CFM and 25 CFM. Okay. And then you can also change here the background color. So I select the background color here. Click that. And then I want to change that to red then okay okay so under conditions uh, to use here so you can see that notice that the software will test for the delta values that are outside the range of uh, minus 25 to 25 cfm okay so let us now do this so i select okay and then let's select okay here and see what will happen and there you go Okay, so as you can see, it's now, oh, by the way, the level here is um, hidden in this field, but it's being used. Okay, the level here is being used, but we just hide that le uh, level field because when we go to the uh, formatting, what we did is that level, we hide that. But actually here on the sorting and grouping, we are using that 
uh, parameter level to sort our schedule. It's just, we just hide it here. Okay? If you do not want to hide that, then just go to the formatting edit again. Select edit and then just select hidden, uncheck the hidden field. So if you select OK, so it will now show here the the level, right? So if you don't want that to be shown, so just format, just he, uh, hide that one. Just check that and then select OK. Okay, so as you can see here, all of them are red. Okay, because uh, no air terminals have been placed in the model. So all the actual supply airflow values are zero and all airflow delta fields are red to occupiable spaces. So in our later exercises or later videos that we are going to create, we're going to use the airflow schedule when adding system components to satisfy the required airflow. Okay. So don't worry about this um, red colors. It's just, again, no air terminals has been added in the model. So all the actual uh, supply airflow values are zero and all airflow uh, delta fields are red for occupiable spaces. Okay, so in later exercises, we're going to use the airflow schedule when adding system components to satisfy the required airflow. Okay, so basically in this exercise, we have learned how to create an airflow schedule and define properties such that when the airflow delta is in an acceptable range, the schedule gives a visual indication of the discrepancy. All right, so basically this concludes the planning stage or the planning on our mechanical system stage project in our Next video, we are going to begin the designing phase by placing air terminals in our spaces. Okay? So hopefully, you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.